How do you study the Bible? That's probably one of the most important questions that we can ask as a Christian because Bible study or Bible reading is part of our discipleship. It's uh, the Word of God. It's something that we live in fear of as we live in fear of God. Now, being in fear of it doesn't mean that we don't approach it, but it does mean that whenever we do approach it, we understand that we're approaching God whenever we open the Bible. It is His words, and we dare not to manipulate them, whether it be to ourselves or to other people. And so in this three-minute credo clip, I'm going to do my best to try to give you an outline on how to study the Bible. First of all, you've got to realize that the Bible is not a magic book. It's not something that you just open up and all of a sudden that the words uh, come and apply to your life or apply to your situation or your marriage or, or your decision on whether to take a job or not. The Bible is not a magic book. Yes, it is the Word of God, but that does not mean that it automatically applies irrelevant of the context in which the Bible occurs. And what do I mean by that? I mean this. The Bible is an old book. I mean, it's, it wasn't written yesterday. It, it, it was written uh, nearly 2,000 years ago, the latest writing that we have. And whenever it was written, it wasn't written to us. It wasn't written to me, Michael Patton, 2011. It wasn't written to you. It was written to specific audiences, specific people, sometimes groups of people, sometimes whole nations of people, sometimes churches, sometimes individuals. The Bible has to be taken first and foremost in the context in which it was written. And so there's really some questions that we have to ask whenever we are doing any Bible study. And the first question is this. And get this, this is the most important question that you can ask in your Bible study, what did it mean then? What did the Bible mean in its original context? What did, whenever Paul wrote his letters to the the Corinthians, why did he write them? What was the occasion for the writing? Anytime you write something, there's a reason for it. Discover the reason why he wrote it. Discover the audience and the, the culture in which they are involved. What did it mean then has all types of implications. The Bible not only is written in a historical context, there's lots of different types of literature. You've got song books, you've got wisdom, you've got historical narratives, you've got biographies. On and on we can go, and all of those require, like our different types of literature today, different approaches, different understanding as to how to interpret them. Uh, Not only this, but whenever we're uh, asking the question, we've got to ask the question, What did it mean then? What does it mean for all time? Sometimes there's eternal implications, sometimes there's not. Sometimes it's telling a story about what happened, and sometimes it has a message about what you are to do today. That's sometimes difficult to discern what was it meant for just the culture of the time and what is meant for us. But build a habit of trying to think through these questions. The final question you asked is, how does it apply to my life? What does it do for me? But it's only after the first two questions, what did it mean then, what does it mean for all time, are answered, that you can ask the question, what is it, how does it apply to me? Now, I've got a couple of things here, and I know we're running out of time on this short credo clip, but this is a great book I think that everybody should have. This is called Living by the Book. It's not complicated, got great exercises in it. You can go through it with a small group, but it is by Howard Hendricks, and it's just how to study the Bible, how to read it, how, what to look for. Great, solid, solid work. Second is the Bible Boot Camp. This is produced by Reclaiming the Mind Ministries, us here, so you'll see me and Tim Kimberly uh, speaking through how to study the Bible in four 45-minute sessions. This is a great resource to have. I encourage you to get it. That's how to study the Bible in a nutshell.